<clears throat> Tony Robbins, three things affecting your life. Decisions. This comes out of Unleashed Power Within. What am I focusing on? How do you know what you're focusing on? Look around. But look around. Yep, look at your conditions. Also look at how you feel. What does it mean? How do you know the meaning that you've assigned something? How do you know what the meaning is? Number one, how you feel. Number two, what are you saying? So you always have a choice what meaning you assign to every condition. Whatever meaning you assign is your choice. Then what are you going to do about it? So what am I focusing on? What's it mean? What am I going to do? So what you focus on determines the, may determine the meaning, or the meaning you, you, you can assign a meaning to whatever you're focusing on. That determines how you feel. That's your state. That's it right here. This is everything. Your state is everything. That's how you feel. That determines what you do. That determines everything comes from your state. That determines what you create. Determines everything. So let's break this down. What do you focus on? Your focus determines how you feel. How you feel determines your life. Real easy. You're always focusing on something. So know that you're always focusing on something. So how does this apply? It applies to everything. It applies to how many people show up at your workshop. It applies to how you view financial objections. It applies to how many new patients or referrals you get. It applies to your team. This is a pre-shift huddle. This is a staff meeting. Everything, what you're focusing on. Your team has to have unity in their focus and in the meaning. If you don't have that, I'll tell you right now, for those people that invested in the boot camps that haven't joined at this point, these are great, but this isn't the key. And the problem with this is patient management is so freaking powerful that you will, you can double your practice with this, you know, if you actually do it. The problem is I've had people come out of the boot camps and the stuff works and they grow their practice. But without the other pillars, if you don't have an inspired team, if your staff meeting isn't spot on, your pre-shift huddles, the way you, you achieve your goals, set goals, create the vision for the team, have team unity and all that stuff, You'll grow, and then it'll collapse because you don't have the other foundations to support it. So the, the greatness about this brew camp is it works. The problem is, is that it works. And I've had hundreds of people through here, and the people that don't have the other things in place, they grow, and then they collapse. And then they have to develop the systems to sustain practice at a higher level. Has anybody ever reached, have you ever hit a peak and then drop back down? Because your systems didn't support it at that level. So that's it. When you have the right systems, a higher level can be easier. It can actually be easier than struggling and pushing the boulder uphill with the wrong systems at a lower volume. Seek and you shall find. What's this mean? When you look at what you focus, <clears throat> Now, if you look at spiritual principles, seek and you will find. It says seek the kingdom first, right? So if you seek inside you and you seek your spirit, you'll find different things. But the thing is, whatever you seek, you'll find. So if you're seeking negative things, you'll find them, right? If you're seeking a particular meaning of something, you're going to find it. Why? Because you'll look for it until you do. So this is why knowing and being conscious of your focus is so important because you have the power to find whatever it is you're seeking. So know that the universe doesn't judge good or bad. It's all just energy. So wherever you put your focus is the energy 
and the meaning you assign to it is what you're going to find. So don't be surprised when you find what you're seeking. Or change your focus. If you don't like what you're finding, then think about what you're focusing on. Does that make sense? 